Hey folks, this is gonna be my first video in a long long time where I actually speak and not only show things in the video, so please bear with me because of my bad expressions and all things like that. So today I'm gonna speak about this uh, 3D printed auto siphon meant to be used for aquaponics and things like that. <coughs> so, uh, first of all, how is it supposed to work? So, as you can see, there's a valve here, which is supposed to be shut. And there's a hole up there. As you can see, this is supposed to... This whole wall is supposed to come down here. This is just for convenience for the video. So, water goes up here, up until that point, and it flows out on the other side into a bucket, sort of little bucket, which you can see can go up and down in that side. The ropes are not very tight, so it doesn't work that well in this specific case. But that's basically just the gist of it. This is really a very small one, which is supposed to fit directly into the uh, media guard, into your grow bed. And, well, the small size is actually the main problem with this one, so I actually don't think I'm going to end up uh, using this, because as you can see, while this works, quite nicely and if I actually tightened up everything it uh, I also tried it out the water flows correctly out into the bucket and actually goes down a bit but since it's very small as you can see from if you compare it to my hand I don't have very big hands it's the weight of water once it enters the bucket which is supposed to act as a counterweight to the valve here is actually really really hard to get right so since you want something reliable in an aquaponics system, of course that's not going to be the case. This is way too flimsy. So I think for a bigger size system it would work nicely. Or there's also the alternate solution where you could have a much bigger bucket that would go out at the bottom and which would be much bigger. So you would have a bigger counterweight basically working as it is. Otherwise, I'm actually quite happy with the overall design. It works nicely in the overall principles, <coughs> so I might revisit it at some point. And there's also a few extras, uh, so you can actually download uh, the the files and the CAD files, so the STL files and the CAD files in the link in the description. And there's a few extras. I actually have these sort of adapters which you could put, I don't know if you see it, at the bottom of the bucket to actually be able to set a specific rate of output flow. And this whole sort of slidable wall thing is also supposed to be modular, so you can actually set the heights at which you want water to escape. And of course you would print something with a specific uh, hole size so that it goes out. So it's also modular, you can also remove these kind of hinge parts. And it's fully 3D printed, so it's uh, pretty much very, very cheap to do. So, yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna give up on auto siphons for now, because... Uh, 